Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating a recycler view. Now, a lot of people have confusion with list view and recycler view. And trust me, this is one of the most asked question in interview. What is the difference between list view and recycler view? See, in list view, we simply add items in a list format, correct? But in recycler view, every item is replaced or recycled with each other as we scroll down. Hence the name as recycler view. So this was the major difference between list view and recycler view. Got it? Now let's get started with the project. Name the activity as recycler view Kotlin. Make sure the language is Kotlin and then click on finish. First, let's do the prerequisite part. So go to colors.xml. Add a new color as lavender. Then hex code as 8692F7 and done. Now go to themes.xml. Change the color primary as lavender and also color primary variant as lavender. Now go to strings.xml. Change the app name as Android Basic Tutorials or maybe to-do list, whatever you want to keep. Now we will add all the images in the drawable. So copy all the images and paste it in the drawable. And we are done with the prerequisites. Now close all the tabs. Go to activity main.xml. Here we will add the recycler view. So make sure width and height is match parent. Then keep the ID as recycler view. And then margin top as 12 dp. That's it. Now as we are creating recycler view, so we will require a specific item layout, right? So right click on layout, then new and then layout resource file. Name the activity as item layout and click OK. Now, here we will design a very simple layout in which we will have one image view and one text view. Got it? So instead of constraint layout, I'll use card view. Make sure you keep the height as wrap content and add all the required attributes. Now inside the card view, we will create a constraint layout. And inside that constraint layout, we will create our image view. Keep the width and height as 60 dp. Then ID as image and then add all the required attributes. And done. Now create a text view. Keep the width and height as wrap content. Then ID as title. And then add all the required attributes. And then now as we are creating recycler view, we will require a data class as well as adapter class. So first let's create data class. Right click on package name, then new and then Kotlin class. Choose data class and name it as data class. So we have two elements, right? One is image view and second is text view, correct? So all you have to do is declare both the variables over here. Now let's create the adapter class. 
So right click on package name, then new and then Kotlin class. Name it as adapter class. First, let me write the code and then I'll explain you. See, first we have created an array list of our data class, which we created before, right? In which we have stored image view and text view, correct? All of these things will be accessed by a variable called as data list. Got it? Then in Java, we used to write extends, right? But in Kotlin, you just have to use colon, recycler view dot adapter. Inside that, we have declared adapter class dot view holder class. We haven't created it yet. So let's create it first. Click on create view holder. So basically in view holder, we attach all the elements with the respective variables. Okay. Now extends recycler view dot view holder and inside that it will have item view, which is basically our view. So out of both the elements, first was image view. I'll initialize it and store it in the RV image variable. And then the same way I'll do it for text view as well and store it in the RV title variable. And then now we need to create three methods of recycler view. So click on red bulb and then click on implement members. Then select all the three members and click OK. We will shift the view holder class at the bottom. Then inside the on create view holder, we will initialize our item layout. So I will store everything inside the item view variable and then using layout inflator, inflator item layout.xml. Then return the item view. Now inside the on bind view holder, we usually attach the elements variable with the respective data variables. First, I will store the position which we get from data list in the current item variable. Then with the help of holder, we will set RV image using set image resource to its current item of data image. And same way we will do it for RV title as well. But here instead of set image resource, we will use text and done. Then the last method that is get item count. Here we will set the size of data list, which is nothing but our data class array list. And that's it. Now let's move to our main activity. Declare all the necessary variables. Now we will create a get data method. So private fun that is function, then get data. First, let me write the code and then I'll explain you. See, we have declared a for loop, then inside that for loop, we will store image list dot indices, which means the index value of image list. So basically in image list, we will store all the images in an array format. Then the for loop will run until it reaches the index value, which means the end of an array list. Got it? And then we have stored the index value in the i variable. Now we have declared a variable called as data class in which we have called the actual data class. And inside that, mention the parameters. Make sure that you mention the parameters in their exact position like the way you call them in data class. So for like example, we have called image first and then title in the data class, right? So the same way over here, we have first called the image list and then 
title list. Got it? Both of them have I, which means the index value, right? Then we will add all of this thing in the data list. So the data list is nothing but a array list of data class only. Got it? Then set the adapter on the recycler view. And that's it. We have already declared image list and title list. But now let's initialize it. So first create an array of image list and inside that array include all the drawables. So let me quickly do that. And done. Then the same way I'll create an array of title list and inside the array include all the string. So let me quickly do that. And it's done. Now lastly, we need to set up the recycler view layout. So first initialize it. Then with the help of layout manager, set it as linear layout manager. And set has fixed size as true, which means the recycler view items width and height will be same for every item. Got it? Then set an array list that contains the object of data class and store it in the data list. So let me quickly tell you what is the difference between an array and array list. So array stores fixed size of elements which is of same data type while an array list stores dynamic elements which can be of different data types. Okay. Then lastly call the get data method and we are done with the coding part. Now let's run the app. See we have a recycler view. Perfect. You can make all the items clickable by using on item click listener. I have already created a video on it so you can click on the i button to watch. So yeah, that is it for the video and if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video.